Yeah. The crack of the whip, dust in the nostrils, and the chilly bite of a high desert dust. It's the cowboy life, and though most of us live far from that rugged ideal, there is one place where the Old West comes thundering to life, even in the 21st century. These are not Hollywood extras, rather city slickers from all parts of the globe, working side by side with hired hands of a real working cattle ranch. We just go on a ranch and do, you know, actual work. We don't make anything up for the city slickers. It's all, all the real stuff. Kane County is the official home of the Old West. It's a rough-hewn landscape where living the lifestyle of the Old West is as comfortable as your favorite pair of jeans. It's a part of our tradition, it's part of our heritage, but it's also, uh, not only that, it's part of our daily life today. There's still a segment of our population that makes their living cattle ranching and farming. Duke Cox knows that better than most. As a livestock broker, he's as close to the modern cowboy world as anyone. And as a Kane County Commissioner, he's grown closer to the lands that are the very image of that life. Today, however, his job is not as Commissioner, but as an Ambassador. He works rope in hand with a dozen real-life city slickers on a 10-day trip of beauty, hard work, and a ton of cows. Kane County is a land of iconic images and inspiring vistas. Hollywood filmed most of the great westerns in Kane County. Like nowhere else on earth, this vast open world is both inviting and daunting, beckoning explorers while intimidating them with its size. Before I came away there were a couple of westerns on and I decided I wouldn't watch them because it might turn me off and I might get really frightened and decide not to come. <laughs> Over a century ago, cattle drives were a common event in the west as ranchers and cowhands would chip in to move herds in and out of the high country. Decades passed and cattle right-of-ways were slowly removed or restructured in most other locales, making the mythic cattle drive truly a thing of the past. In Kane, however, land managers have understood the value and necessity of that way of life, stewarding their acres accordingly. This drive that's taking place today used to happen more regularly than it does now. You know, there's about 800 head today that's going to the winter range. It's on a designated livestock trail that's been established in here for hundreds of years. And uh, it's an important tradition. It's an important part of our economy, uh, our lifestyle, that I, I really think it's important to keep alive. In order to help keep it alive, Mel Heaton of Old West Outfitters offers a true cowboy experience. Visitors from around the world are invited to push the herd across the Utah wilds on horseback. No experience is necessary. Of course, we provide the horses and the, the experience with cattle and things like that. Uh, we have sleeping bags for rent, but we furnish the tents and the, uh, everything that they need to, to get along. We've made a lot of friends all over the world, England, uh, Australia, people from California, Washington. Niles Vandertorn is a restaurant owner from Amsterdam and the week of saddle sores are worth it for the solitude of the trip. This is what I like. This is the outdoors. You get the quiet, you get the horses, you get the cattle. I love it. We had to push them across the highway yesterday, which was really interesting. They told us we were going to do that on the way and we didn't believe them. And then sure enough, they had the highway patrol stop the cars and the whole herd just went right across. At the end of each day, in true Old West style, hot food and a warm fire comfort the worn riders. Tomorrow will be more of the same. A day of no phones, no cars, no luxury. Save the vast landscape of southern Utah. The mere handful of semi-annual cattle drives is limited to only allow a few dozen people to experience the drive each year. But luckily, experiencing Kane County is not limited to cattle drives. That's obviously a fun and a good time to do it, but you know, we live right in the heart of color country and you can come with your horse and you can go on organized trails or you can park and spend three days going and never cover the same country twice. This is a very different side of the United States. I think this is fantastic and I just hope that the Heatons keep it going for the next generation and the generation after that. I want to maybe bring a horse to Europe, maybe start off a new business, 
sell the restaurant and do something like this. This is life. From the landscape of the West, I'm Bob Welty.